Are you interested in donating blood? Here are the 15 steps of each donation. First, you will schedule your appointment at lifeserveBloodCenter.org. Click on the Donate tab at the top to find a blood drive near you. Second, you can fill out your pre-donation history questionnaire with QuickPass. Save time during your registration by filling out the following information. No matter where you are, you can fill out these questions before you come in. Once you are done, click on Print QuickPass or Email QuickPass and make sure to bring in that barcode with you to your appointment. In order to register for your appointment, don't forget to bring in a form of ID, like a driver's license. Once you have registered, they will bring you to do a mini physical where we will check your pulse, your temperature, and your iron. The donation process for a whole blood takes anywhere from 45 minutes to one hour, but you are really only in the donor chair for about five to 10 minutes. Dominic here is donating double red cells, which means that they will collect twice as many red blood cells and then return his plasma and platelets. This process can take 25 to 30 minutes. During your donation, they will collect four tubes to use for testing later. Once Dominic is all done with his donation, he will head over to the canteen. Don't forget to grab some cookies, an orange juice or a water, and hang out for a couple minutes. To thank our donors for their time, after each donation you will earn points in the online store. You can then redeem these points for a t-shirt, a hat, a chair, or other cool items. Welcome to our lab. No matter if you donate in one of our donor centers or at a community church blood drive in your hometown, your unit of donated blood is brought back here. First, we will separate the red blood cells from the platelet-rich plasma. This can be done by placing it in a centrifuge and spinning until it is separated. And then, with a little bit of pressure, the platelet-rich plasma can be extracted from the red blood cells. The units are then sealed off and the platelet-rich plasma is then set to rest for 30 minutes. While these are resting, the red blood cells are hung up in order to filter out all of the white blood cells. Removing the white blood cells from a unit that will be transfused into a hospital patient will reduce the chance of a reaction to the transfusion. When the timer is up, the process is done all over again in order to extract the platelets from the plasma. One unit of platelets is only enough for a transfusion for a baby, so the platelets are weighed and combined with three other units to create one full dose for an adult hospital patient. As I mentioned earlier, four tubes are collected from each donor. These are going to be used for testing. LifeServe Blood Center will perform 15 tests on each collected unit, including for Zika, West Nile, and HIV. The final step at our facility will be to label and package the unit for delivery to a hospital. Norma, a volunteer driver along with many others, deliver on average 500 units of blood every day to hospitals in our area. LifeServe Blood Center is the sole provider to over 120 hospitals in the Iowa, Nebraska, and South Dakota region. The unit then will be delivered to the hospital's lab where it will be ready to be transfused into a hospital patient. Hey, it's Linda down at Blood Bank. I've got two units of blood ready. Contain it if something would happen to it in the tube system. Hold it down. It kind of goes in here, and then I tell it what tube station I want to send it to. And then we usually try to send blood stat. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> Meet David. Earlier this year, David was diagnosed with aplastic anemia, which means that his body cannot produce enough blood cells to live. Because of this, David receives blood transfusions every two weeks. First, we start it slow, then we do it for 15 minutes, and then we check his vitals again. If he's tolerating it okay, then we speed it up. And then it usually takes about an hour and a half per unit, depending on the bag size. My hemoglobin was all the way down to 4.3, so I think when you get to like three, between like three and three and a half, is when you're pretty much borderline like death. <laughs> and I was 
at 4.3. So they tried different medication and they were kind of working, but not fully working. Four hours of sitting here with this little tube in me is going to give me two more weeks, mm -hmm. you know, to be with my wife and kids, so. Usually David receives multiple bags of blood at each transfusion. You don't ever think about it, like, how much this actually does help somebody. And, you know, if I didn't have this and I didn't have blood for <laughs> this, then I would slowly, well, I would be dying a lot faster. Four to six weeks after you order your online store item, it will be delivered. And last but definitely not least, don't forget to reschedule an appointment.